Rock 108. Hey, it's Peyton. I am joined in the studio today with Saul out of the Sioux City. Uh, if you are a Rock 108 listener, you should be a bit familiar with their name now. We are playing their new tune, Brother, which you, of course, can hear in our regular rotation, as well as a part of Noise from the Garage, our local music show, which takes place Sunday evenings from 7 until 9 p.m., which is sponsored by Spicoli's Reverb in Waterloo, which is where Saul is going to be having their album release show coming up this Saturday, March 2nd, uh, how are you guys doing? We are doing fantastic. We are happy to be here. I am happy to have you guys here. Um, so if we want to just do a little introduction, give your name and uh, what it is you play in the band, let everyone know who you are. Yes, ma'am. Um, I am Blake Betzel. I am lead vocals. I'm Zach Betzel. I uh, do backup vocals and the guitarist. I am William McElravey, and I play bass guitar, keyboard, and backup vocals. I am Joe Nichols, and I'm the drummer. Awesome. So, new year 2019 started almost three months ago now, which is crazy. But uh, we got a lot of exciting stuff coming from Salt this year. Of course, we have the new single, Brother. We have the new album coming out. Uh, I saw on your Facebook page you guys said you have a new stage show, new management, new music videos, new merch, yep. ton of new stuff. So, do you guys want to just talk a little bit maybe about what uh, some of the stuff you have going on, what you guys are really looking forward to for this year? Yeah, you know, uh, we got lucky enough to work with um, Chris Dawson from Seasons After, um, and he picked us up for management. So, and he's he's been in the business for you know a long time, and uh, they blew up with their remake of Cry Little Sister uh, quite a mm-hmm. few years ago. And and he was awesome. He knows everything. He shoots our music videos. He records us. Um, he tells us not to do things more often than to do things because. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, hold your horses most of the time. But um, uh, so we were lucky enough to work with him, and he's fantastic. Um, stage show, uh, Zach and I and Will, uh, we spent a lot of time um, uh, programming and uh, getting a new light production. And that is, it's just, it's taken our stage show up, you know, tenfold and having everything triggered right with our show. So we, we go on there, and it's, it's just, we make it our stage every time. Awesome. Yeah, that's definitely uh, important. And, it's, you know, it makes much more of an impact to people in the crowd when you do got some, you know, fun, cool stuff happening up on stage, you know, keep them really immersed in what's going on up there. Um, so I'm definitely excited to get to see the album release show this Saturday. It's coming up so soon. I know. Uh, of course, that is going to be taking place at Spicoli's Reverb in Waterloo. Have you guys uh, performed at Spicoli's before? No, actually, I think this is the longest we've ever been in Waterloo. Yeah, well, there's, you know, you know, not a whole lot here. It's okay. Uh, but no, Spicoli's is really uh, such an awesome little niche in Waterloo. Uh, I am so pleased to get to work with them so often, but they bring such great music in all the time. They have arcade games there, really cool artwork. Uh, so it's definitely a fun atmosphere, and they could pack a pretty good amount of people into that place. Yeah, yes. Um, so it's definitely, we're definitely going to be excited to be having you guys there. And, of course, it's the... Is it the first show for the album release? Because it's the day the album's out, correct? Uh, March 1st is the day the album releases, okay. and we are playing that in mine and Zach's hometown. Nice, and where's that? Uh, Cherokee, Iowa. Where so, where, where in the state is uh, that? It's directly west yeah. of here, on 20. Yeah. Nice, oh, so easy yeah. to get to, not bad. Um, so that's on the 1st, which is the Friday, and then they'll be coming down to Waterloo on the 2nd. Uh, so do you guys want to talk little details about the album? Of course, Brother has been out uh, for, what, a little over a month now? 30 days today. Nice. Um, so, yeah, that's, of course, first single off the album. Uh, what else can we expect with the album? How many songs? Uh, what's the title? Oh, well, uh, the title of the uh, EP is Eons. It's going to be five tracks. Um, like you said, Brother is the first single. Um, and then we have the rest of the... If, if you like Brother, the rest of the album is on the same vein. It's all upbeat and in your face. We wanted to do uh, a record where it's just... We didn't let anything... We didn't hold anything back. Yeah. So um, so we did that. And there's, uh, you know, one uh, pretty heavy song on there. There's a little bit lighter one, but they're all re- really close to the same vein. 
Awesome. And uh, our Rock 108 fans definitely like the in-your-face music. So I'm uh, hoping they are all excited once they get to hear the album. So uh, Brother, of course, as we said, the first single, we do play it here in rotation on Rock 108. And you get to hear it on our local music show as well. Uh, But do you want to talk maybe a little bit details about that song? Uh, You know, is there anything certain that it was written about? I know you have brothers in the band. Did you guys write it about each other? Um. Yeah, you know, Zach, guitar player, and myself uh, are our brothers. But in uh, 2009, we lost our older brother um, to H1N1. And um, so we started writing the song about that. Joe Nichols joined the band, uh, a Waterloo native. Um, so he joined the band, and turns out he was an army man with his brother. And he lost his brother in 2011 in Afghanistan. So it was just kind of a... Uh, it was something the band needed. Yeah. We had to do it. So, and I'm really glad we did. And um, this is Saul's song. This is, you know, if we go down today, I'm glad we put this song up. Absolutely. And yeah, you can definitely uh, feel the emotion in the tune as well. But it's so beautiful that uh, people can take music and use it as a release and, uh, you know, kind of get those thoughts and those feelings put out there and know yeah. that other people, you know, are going through some of the same things you are. And, uh, no, you're not alone. Absolutely. Uh, so you guys brought some instruments along today. Yes. Sir. Uh, we're gonna play. They're gonna play two songs. But since we're talking about brother, uh, if you guys want to go ahead and get ready, let's uh, get some brother going here. Okay. Write this letter to letter I'll never send Words I'll never say Would you read it anyway? And tell me, brother, what's my fate? You see the sunrise You see the rain We come so far Penniless and painless is my fate. The world awaits. And hold my hands and tell me that it's alright. You are proud of everything I've done. The clock is staring, no sympathy at all. I tremble and I fall. We need answers now. Didn't make the sunrise, now only pain. I'm sorry, brother. Who walked away? Raptor. 
I gotta tell you, I love your shoes. There is something about uh, rock and roll vocalists that they just find killer boots all the time. It's, I'm a fan, I'm a fan. Um, classics, classics. <laughs> awesome. So uh, that was Brother, the first single from uh, Saul's upcoming EP coming your way March 1st. Um, you guys are going to be going out and recording that tune acoustically here uh, next couple weeks, right? Yes, uh, March 8th, actually. Yeah, we're heading down to Wichita to record that. Awesome. And you have show out there as well? Uh, yep, Elbow Room in Wichita. Yep. Nice, nice. I have never been, but uh, they get some pretty good music there, so that should yeah. be exciting. Wichita's a good time. Yes, <laughs> it's good. Maybe I'll have to get out there. Yeah, you should. Yeah? Definitely. Put on my list of places to go check we're out. We're looking for a merch girl if you want to roll. I would love to. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, so we, uh, you guys are doing something pretty cool at some of your live shows, which is a VIP package for fans. Uh, do you want to touch on that a little bit? Let fans know uh, what they could get as a part of that. Yeah, actually, it's uh, we're doing one in Cherokee, one in Spicoli's, and one in Sioux City, and uh, it's twenty five dollars. You come in, you get a signed CD, signed poster. Uh, one of these laminates. Which are awesome. Which are cool. I was eyeing them earlier. Yeah, yeah. So you get one of those, and we, uh, we'll sign everything. Um, you get three songs acoustically. We get pictures with the backdrop. Um, get it two hours early. Two hours early. You know, you can First hang out. Merch. First take it merch. Yeah, yeah, yeah you get it's nice. pretty cool. Yeah, and for 25 bucks, that is not a bad deal either. Um, so you have a handful of shows coming up kind of all over the Midwest yep. to start promoting the new record. Um, and I got to ask you, I the two things I travel for are uh, music and food. Okay. So do you guys have a favorite road food or food in certain towns you just know you have to get when you're out there? Well, yes. Can't go wrong with pizza. pizza. But see, I'm from Chicago, so yeah. I'm picky about my pizza. Oh, okay, okay. I'm picky about it. Honestly, one of the best places I think I've gone to is Root Burger in uh, Deep Ellum in Dallas. They do, they ha they have kangaroo meat, they have buffalo, Whoa. they have alligator. alligator. They It's crazy. Ostrich. Ostrich. I mean, Ostrich. literally, wow. you, look at a, you look at a list of meats, wild boar, it doesn't matter what it is, they'll make it into a burger and you will love They're it. They're like, we shot this in the backyard last night, it's our special <laughs> today, much. you we, want it? We fresh? got raccoon today, I don't know where it came from. <laughs> That's, That's pretty crazy. Yeah, That's awesome. Knows? I love that, up. though. I love finding unique places like that. It's one thing I always try to do no matter where I travel. Even when I get back into downtown Chicago, I'm always trying to try new food. So yeah. um, maybe one day we'll get to Dallas and have some raccoon yeah. burgers. Well, we're, <laughs> <laughs> um, we're actually heading to sh Chicago here pretty soon. Awesome. Uh, what restaurants do you recommend? Okay, so... Uh, my boyfriend is sitting in the background here. I brought okay. him with today. And uh, we are obsessed with ramen. Oh, like, dude. nice, quality, high-end ramen. Yep. Uh, so we just ate at this place in Chicago called the Slurpin' Turtle. Oh, the Slurpin' Turtle. We mainly went there because they had this cute little turtle logo. Uh, yep. But the ramen was awesome. But there's so many ramen places all over Chicago. And it's something you don't really get here in Iowa. I no. think maybe there's a spot in Des Moines. Uh, yeah, you, you can't go wrong. And the bowls are always so huge. So oh, you have, dude. like, drunk leftovers for two oh, in the morning. Oh, I'm, I'm sold. I'm already yep. sold. Well, Perfect. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So uh, you guys are going to have one more song to play for us. But before that, do you want to just let fans know... Um, First off, when the album comes out, how can they get it? Digital release, CD release, are you doing vinyl, anything like that as well? Yes, um, uh, March 1st it drops, and the first thing we'll drop will all will be all digital outlets, you know, iTunes, Spotify, um, everything, everything. Yeah. you know, Amazon. Amazon, everything, you know, um, Apple Music, whatever. 
And so whatever you use, it'll be on there. And then for physical copies for the month of March, you can only get a physical copy if you order it from us online or come to a CD release show. So get to a CD release show. Yes. Like at Spicoli's yeah. coming up this Saturday. Um, another thing I'm really excited about the show at Spicoli is, is both of the opening bands on the lineup are awesome. Cool. Uh, Silent Redemptions from Dubuque, which is where you guys were last night. And uh, they have their own hearse. Like, literally a car that you put the dead bodies in oh, okay. with their logo on the side. It's pretty cool. So I'm oh, okay. hoping they bring it to the show. Uh, yeah. But yeah, there's some good lo- uh, local openers on that show as well. So it's going to cool. be a good time. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, me too. Awesome. So you have one more tune to play for us today. Yep. Uh, do you want to tell us a little bit about the song? Yeah, actually, um, this one's going to be called The Toll. Uh, first it's, song on the record. Yeah, it's actually the first song on the record. Um and this is about the struggles of being broke musicians on the road. Awesome. Mm, the toll it takes, baby. <laughs> All right. This is Saul again hanging out with Peyton on Rock 108. Consider this life nothing left. I fend the walls that I confess. The toll it takes, the price we pay. Hold on for some. Cause I know I'm not giving in Hold on for some day Emotional To risk I knew that you'd leave tonight so I thought you knew the world owed me 